So with an asexual romantic relationship in comparison to a heterosexual relationship, you still need obviously the trust there, the respect, the appreciation of each other and the love. You know, love is not the same as sex. Sex is one form of physical expression that some people like to do in order to express love. But love is not sex. You know, love is love. Love is a feeling you have inside for the person. So an asexual romantic relationship, for me, doesn't involve sex. I still like kissing. I still like cuddling. I still like holding hands. In my case, I like excessive kissing. And in my case, I love romance. Like I like kissing in the city. I like kissing wherever I'm going out. If I'm going to a zoo or theme park. I like kissing, you know, um, if we're dancing together, me and my other half, if I had one, I'm single, you know. And so that's all the type of thing I, I need in a relationship. My physical needs are still really important. I just don't want the sexual intercourse. In my case, I don't like oral sex either, you know, so I don't need that in my life, you know, and an asexual relationship, I think, can be so beautiful because it's based on pure love, you know. There's no, you have to have sex in order for that person to love you and in order for that person to have a relationship with you. They can love you no matter what, you know, in terms of physicality. You know, you don't need to have working tackle down there as it was because it doesn't matter to an asexual. We can live, love and be happy without sex so we can truly love the person for who they are. To me, it's the very purest form of love. You know, the very purest form of love because my heart can feel their heart and if they don't have sex with me, that's bliss, you know? And obviously asexuals can have relationships with sexuals or other asexuals, you know? If you're having a relationship um, and you're asexual or having a relationship with a sexual, you know, there has to be constant, open, honest communication at all times. And that's how it differs to a, a heterosexual to heterosexual relationship. So in heterosexual relationships, you are taught, you know, traditionally in society that, you know, if you're really upset with each other, sex will fix the issue, which it doesn't. It just patches over the problems. And with asexuals, you know, when we're on dating sites and things, we look for personality, hobbies, interests, things in common. Whereas if you're het heterosexual, you're looking for the passion and the initial hormonal reaction of making you want to have sex with that person and the passion and all that, those hormones flying around that are making you want to have sex with a person can actually cloud your judgment in that person being right for you because there's all the emotion flying around and the passion and there isn't that focus on, well, can I actually spend the rest of my life with that person? Have we got things in common? Have we got hobbies? Have we got interests? Are our values um, the same? Are our beliefs the same? Whereas asexuals focus so much on those other things because the sex isn't isn't part of their life, you know, they're focused on all the other things, so that the relationship in theory is more likely to last in the sense of longevity, because, you know, once all the passion and sex, uh, you know, initial phases kind of dying down with the heterosexual style of relationship, you know, asexuals can have the longevity of you know, liking all that other stuff together and having things in common which sexuals may have overlooked in their initial passion phase, you know? And I think this is what's incredible about asexual romantic love. I think it's the most purest love, the most beautiful love. And, you know, to love someone without sex, I think it's just a gift, you know? I mean, there's thousands of people around the world that can't have sex, not because they're not asexual, and not because they're asexual, but because they can't have sex for whatever reason. You know, they're physically disabled, they're impotent, they choose celibacy, you know. And those people deserve love without sex too. And asexuals could potentially give them that love because they don't need the sex. So I think it's really important that many more people who are sexual understand asexuality and realise there are other options out there where they can have love without the sex. And in terms of being with an asexual, we love emotionally. So our love is built on a strong emotional connection. And we need constant, open, honest communication. We need to feel your soul, you know. We need to feel hearts to hearts a lot more. Uh, because there isn't the sex involved. And we can feel physically close to someone and soul close to someone just through the way we feel in our hearts with each other. And I think this is just wonderful experience. 
And I really believe asexual romantic relationships are just, you know, incredible. You know, I'm a, a romantic asexual and I just think they are personally, I would rather be a romantic asexual than a romantic sexual person any day. I would always want to be asexual, not heterosexual, because I love a life without sex. I love being healthy, happy, vibrant, energetic, and, and I would love to be in a, a relationship without sex. I just think it would be bliss for me to kiss another person and have all those beautiful feelings of romance and passion but without sex would just be so sensational and I can't wait to find my asexual partner but like I said I'm happy being single if the right one doesn't come along for me and I think that is really empowering to know that you can live love and be happy without sex forever.